Hi everyone, welcome back to our Cloud Development 101 series. In the last few installments, we talked about what a CDE is and the developer experience when using a CDE. In this installment, we'll discuss the difference between a CDE and an IDE. I work a lot of trade shows and I explain this many, many times a day when working in the coder booth. After a brief explanation of what a CDE is, it's not uncommon for someone to reply with something along the lines of, couldn't you just do that with an IDE remote connection? They're not wrong on the surface if they have all the other components of a development environment in place already. And that is the tipping point, all of the other components. So let's dig in. Looking around the web, I found a few definitions for IDE. Wikipedia states a software application that provides comprehensive facilities for software development. An IDE normally consists of at least a source code editor, build automation tools, and a debugger. Code Academy's definition enables programmers to consolidate the different aspects of writing a computer program. IDEs increase programmer productivity by combining common activities of writing software into a single application, editing source code, building executables, and debugging. AWS's definition is a good one, and it's my favorite of the ones I've found. A software application that helps programmers develop software code efficiently. It increases developer productivity by combining capabilities such as software editing, building, testing, and packaging into an easy-to-use application. Just as writers use text editors and accountants use spreadsheets, software developers use IDEs to make their job easier. You can see there's a common theme across those definitions. An IDE makes development easier by combining the most commonly used development functions into one application. It focuses on writing, debugging, and building code. But what about the computing platform plus all the other components that make up a development environment? That is where a CDE comes in. In the opening video of this series, we talked about how a CDE provides developers with high-performance remote resources to develop and build their projects, and a comprehensive and consistent set of development tooling, including but not limited to an IDE, libraries, compilers, frameworks, and utilities. And that's the big differentiator right there. While an IDE is typically thought of as an application a developer installs and uses, in the context of a cloud development environment, an IDE is a component of a comprehensive development environment. A CDE workspace provides each developer with everything they need, the IDE plus the compute platform and all of the tooling they would normally need to install and maintain to work on a specific project. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have any suggestions, please leave us a comment below. Also, have a look at coder.com for an overview of Coder's Enterprise Ready CDE and check out our GitHub page, github.com slash coder, to stay up to date with our projects, roadmap, and latest releases. Also, keep an eye on this space for our next video, where we'll go a little deeper and look at the difference between a workspace and a template.